Parking problems may soon be a thing of the past for the Nashville farmers market thanks to a change to nearby roadways. New tonight, News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson joins us. And Jesse, some roads are being changed to one-way streets there, right? Yeah, 6th and 7th Avenue, those are the streets that border Bicentennial Mall, will both be changed to one-way streets. That's so they can fit in diagonal parking instead of parallel parking, adding about 50 spots in hopes it will be easier to access uh, the farmers market. When lunchtime rolls around at the Nashville Farmer's Market, you can find cars circling the parking lot. Looking for a place to park and can't find one. That's been the story since construction started on the State Museum, taking away about half of the farmer market's parking. And it's not just hard for customers, but for vendors as well. It is kind of a nightmare to find a parking space. Tammy Whitehouse is working to open Delta 61 in the Farmer's Market, which used to be called the Tamale Pot. We have been down at Nashville Farmer's Market since uh, July of 2011. Expecting to open by the end of the month, Delta 61's arrival comes at the same time as a saving grace. More parking on the streets surrounding Bicentennial Mall. It's a plan that will provide more parking by making the roads one-way streets and adding in diagonal parking instead of parallel parking. That means when the new State Museum finally opens next year, the market should be getting some new customers. They're kind of treating the market as effectively their food court for the museum. And if you look around, you can tell that the farmer's market is in a prime spot to reap the benefits of Nashville's growth. The fact that you've got so many people now in walking distance that you didn't have before, right? That sort of residential support where you can just literally cross the street and suddenly you're at the farmer's market. Customers and businesses alike hope this change will make the toughest decision at the market a question of where to eat instead of where to park. It'll be worth the wait when it, when it finally gets completed. Now, 6th and 7th are going to be repaved so that they can put in those new lines, and they're hoping this will all be complete within the next two weeks. Live in the newsroom, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. Jesse, thank you.